Welcome back to another video guys and today I'm going to talk you through my bag and what I am packing to go to the Lake District with. So right now, as you are watching this video, me and three other photographers are making our way up to the Lake District and um, I'm so, so excited to go. I cannot wait. I haven't actually been to the Lake District before. Uh, I think I went once as a kid maybe, um, so my mum and dad says, but as a photographer, <laughs> I've never been to the Lake District. It's one of those places that we all want to go as landscape photographers and um, yeah, so I cannot wait to get up there. So, so hopefully within the next couple of days, weeks, um, I'm gonna have some really, really good content coming up for you guys. Um, so make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So yeah, fingers crossed we can get some good stuff. So this is my big Berghaus, what is it called? 65 plus 10 liter BioFit rucksack. I was given this by one of my best friends, Paul. He just bought a brand new one and um, he's used this one a couple of times. He said I could have it. So it's absolutely perfect for this trip and um, I'm sure I'll get many, many uses out of it in coming trips for the future as I travel around a bit more and do some more hiking and that sort of stuff. So at first thoughts, I thought it was gonna be a bit big, but actually now I've loaded it up properly with everything, I think it's gonna be just perfect. And there'll be a few gaps here and there for me to stuff a sandwich and another drinks bottle down it and that sort of stuff. So big bag, it's currently weighing at about 12 kilos. Um, I reckon with water, it's gonna be about 13, so it's not too bad. We're not gonna do a massive amount of hiking. It's mainly gonna be the odd fell here and there and around the lakes. I just wanted to make sure that I had everything on me if I needed it. My Vanguard Ultra Sky 45D uh, isn't big enough for me to fit in everything, including lunch um, and all the stuff I need to be vlogging with and all my photography gear. So I've gone with this nice big hiking rucksack. So let's have a look, see what I got inside, talk you through what I'm taking and why. And um, yeah, let's just get down to it. I went to go outdoors the other day and I bought myself some brand new hiking poles. These each weigh about, I think it was about 180 or 200 grams each. They, they weigh nothing, like absolutely nothing. So. Yeah, they're not going to be weighing me down in the slightest bit and it is kind of vital to have these up in the Lake District when you're hiking up the fell. And uh, some of you guys know, I'm now an ambassador for Vanguard. Uh, I spoke to the lovely guys at Vanguard and they said, we've got something for you to take with you to the Lake District. They have sent me this Vanguard VO2 265CB carbon fiber travel tripod. And as you can see, it's really small. And this thing weighs literally nothing. I've said about it in a few other videos. I think with a bull head, I think it's just less or just more than 1.3 kilos. Super solid too. I've had it out doing five minute exposures in wind and I can't knock it. They supplied me with these spiked feet. So I've put them on there for the video purpose and uh, I've put the rubber feet in the bag. But for the Lake District, being quite wet up there and slippery. Really good tripod, nice and light, ready to go. And um, yeah, I haven't stopped using it yet. It's, it's, it's really, really good. So thank you, Vanguard. So let's dive into the bag and see what we have. Batteries. I've put all my batteries in this little dry bag. There's DJI Mavic Air batteries in there and I have six batteries for my A7R2 and I will also have two spare batteries for that camera there which is the vlogging camera, the Canon M50 and they will all live in this uh, waterproof dry bag and the batteries will get wet and um, yeah, it's just safer being in there and they're organized and I like these little pouches because you can just organize things and you know exactly where everything is. You don't have to be rummaged around in your bag to find anything, they're just there ready to go um yeah so loads of spare batteries all charged up ready to go dji mavic air i can't wait to fly this thing up in the lake district nice and small you guys have seen it many times before and that's it ready to go all ready to film for my b-roll for my vlogs and to get those amazing shots when we're up on top of the fells can't wait to fly this thing around us when we get up there so yeah DJI Mavic Air, love this thing, absolutely amazing. Nice, small little bundle, ready to go. Now this is a cool thing. 
This is a solar panel. One of my best friends, Paul, who gave me the Berghaus bag, said I could use this for the trip. I thought it was a really, really good idea. You can lengthen it out and you can tie it on your bag. So you just clip it on with the carabiners at the top of your bag like that. And while you're hiking up the mountain, say if you've got an hour hike up to the top of a fell, maybe the vlogging camera is dying or have run out of batteries. It's got a USB port on the back here and I could just plug in a USB and charge it with the sun. I thought that was amazing. And it falls down to literally nothing. It's like the size of an A4 piece of paper. So um, and it doesn't weigh anything. So I figured that's kind of a bit of a lifesaver if you're out there. You know, if fog comes down, and it's raining and then everything dies and um, last resort sort of thing. I was having a look around online and Amazon, having a look at the best ways to carry all my camera gear and keep it safe and not have it rattling around in my bag, in my big bag here, because it's got no dividers or separators to put the camera in. I come across a few of these like camera inserts and they're perfect for this sort of thing, just popping in a big bag. They're also good for storing stuff. I've been storing lenses and stuff in here at home up on the shelf. Um, I found this one off Amazon. I didn't spend a great deal on it. It's made by Newer and uh, I've had a few things from Newer in the past. They're quite cheap and cheerful and uh, they do the job like this light right here that's like the side of my face is a Newer light and um, yeah they're really good. This thing kind of stood out for me. I think it was like £12 or £15 and uh, some were really expensive and I didn't want to go and drop a load of money on a camera insert for me to just use it every now and again. Um, if it's something that I'm going to be doing a lot more of in the future, of course, I will invest and get myself something a bit more substantial. It keeps it all nice, safe and in one place. Um, so in here, I will have all my goodies. I have my leaf filters, grads. I've also put the little stopper in there um, to save a bit of space. I have the big stopper here with the leaf filters holder filters for my DJI Mavic Air. I have shutter release. This thing I always forget to put in my bag. Don't ask me why, but it's in there and it's staying in there. Vital for doing any long exposures. So that is 100% good in my bag. I have my new 70-200 F4 Sony. I've only had it about four weeks now and I was looking at renting one for the Lake District trip to see if I liked it and to see if I got on with it. If I did get on with it, I would maybe buy one in the future, but I was looking at rental places online and it was just working out to be so expensive. And I've not done any of those rent a lens things before. I don't know how it really worked, uh, but to rent this thing for like seven days, cause I wanted it a couple of days before I went and maybe a day or two to play around with it after I got back. Uh, I was working out at like 200 quid for like eight, nine, 10 days and I had to leave a big deposit of 350 pounds. It was just mounting up and it got to the point where it was like 550, 600 pounds. And I would get some of that back obviously because it was a deposit, but what if I accidentally scratched it? What if I got a chip on the lens hood or something like that? And I was just worrying about, I might lose 600 pounds here. So for the sake of a thousand pounds, I just went and bought it. And this thing is absolutely incredible. Yesterday I was in Richmond Park and I was shooting some deer, some stags. I know the autofocus on the A7R2 is absolutely insane, but this thing is so fast. It just tracks on and just, it just pin sharp images, absolutely amazing images. So easy to use. It doesn't weigh much. There's nothing like 7200 2.8, and um, I never really saw a benefit in getting that anyway, but this thing is amazing and is always in my bag now. So I'm so glad I got it for the Lake District trip. And um, yeah, it's probably my favorite lens right now. It's, it's living on my camera. Most of the shots you've seen on my Instagram feed and Facebook and stuff are, I've been coming out with this lens, so it's, it's, it's a beast. And as you guys know, this is my Sony a7R2. Uh, right now I have the um, 24 to 70 F4 Zeiss on here and uh, I recently got an L bracket because the new tripod has Arca Swiss so I got a three legged thing L bracket and it looks quite cool and it matches the orange ring on the uh, on the Sony cameras all ready to go and these are the only two lenses I'm going to be taking with me to the Lake District. I do have a 55mm 1.8 but I didn't really see the point in taking that if I wanted to get some nice bokeh and compression I could use this lens. I'm not really going to be taking any portrait sort of shots up there and I wanted to try and travel as light as possible. This lens is faultless, absolutely incredible and that along with the 70-200 will give me 24 mil right through to 200 mil and that will be plenty especially if we're up on top of the fells and you want to hone in and get some more detailed shots of the landscape um, that's going to come in handy and yeah that's all going to live in this nice newer bag 
and that's going to be in my bag all the time. Going back to the rucksack in the bottom, I have a dry bag full of dry clothes. Well, I figured if we get wet and it is the Lake District, um, I'm gonna need to get dressed and get dried and get out of those wet clothes because it might be cold. Um, it's autumn now, it's probably gonna drop down to about three or four degrees in the mornings and in the evenings. And um, in here, I have pants, socks, a spare pair of waterproof trousers, um, a t-shirt and a jumper. It's all been compressed down, airtight, and squeeze all the air out and it weighs nothing goes in my bag and that's just gonna stay there. And then what I'll do halfway through the week, uh, I'll probably change this out and put some other clothes in here just in case and then wear this because this is waterproof and then my other waterproofs can go into the wash and then I can just have uh, some dry clothes in there for the rest of the week. I thought it was essential for me to have a spare pair of clothes on me at all times. And for the space it really takes up, it doesn't really matter. And in the top of the bag, I will have all the bit and um, all the little goodies and stuff like that. Things like uh, a head torch, essential for when we're hiking up in the dark in the mornings or back at late at night. I've got a compass, well, for obvious reasons. Put my remote for my drone in there so it's easily accessible. I probably will put the drone in the top bit here as well, uh, just so it's easy to grab and we can just pop it out and fly around and get some B-roll wherever we are. Yeah, another waterproof thing to put my in. I thought that was kind of vital really to keep my phone dry if we get wet. Hand gel, another head torch just in case. Leatherman knife thing with pliers just in case. Well, you know, whistle to get attention. All the rubber feet for the tripod in case I want to take the spikes off and use the rubber feet. Lens caps for the body and uh, also lens if I need them. Lens cloths. Allen key for the L bracket, just loads of stuff. I'll probably put a sandwich and some snack and um, that sort of stuff as well. Uh, it's a nice big pocket on top. And I will also have a um, water bladder in there as well and a little thing coming out over the top so I can drink while we're hiking and on the go. And that is pretty much all I'm going to be carrying with me on the trip. I'm really looking forward to getting up there. I'm really looking forward to immersing myself um, in that landscape and I've just wanted to be there for so long and to just put my little twist on things, on those compositions that you see every day. And of course, try and find something a bit different and a bit new and uh, yeah, just kind of put my take on things. I'm going with a great group of guys, all three of them are photographers. Yeah, it's just gonna be a really, really nice little trip. So we're going up today and we are back on Thursday evening, so Hopefully by next Sunday, you will have part one of the Lake District. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do it yet, if I'm gonna vlog like day one, day two, day three, day four, or I'm gonna do like sunrise and sunset shoots, or kind of just take it as it comes and see what happens with the weather. But I should hopefully have a good two or three vlogs from being up there in the Lake District. So I'm gonna pack up all this stuff so it's all ready for me to go. And I hope you guys have liked this video, found it a bit informative, I had a little look into what I'm taking, the sort of lenses and gear that I'm taking with me, uh, trying to keep as lightweight as possible. And I hope this video is of use to some of you guys out there who are maybe thinking about packing to go on your trip somewhere. You can get some ideas and inspiration from it too. So thank you very much guys for checking in. Please do click that subscribe button if you haven't already because I'm gonna have some amazing videos and content for you guys in the next couple of weeks. Tell us what you think down in the comments and I will see you guys in the next one.